Hey, I'm Obi. That's Ed, and we are drinking from the Guard Hose. Welcome to our big 21st episode. If you're listening along, as always, remember you can find us wherever you get your podcasts, including Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever you get podcasts, we're there. Get us, subscribe, like us, leave comments if you're on Apple. Leave comments when you follow our posts on Facebook and Twitter. We are on tw- Twitter as well. Uh, all that good stuff. And we're having a very exciting 21st episode. But before we get into it, Ed, how are you? I'm doing I'm doing great, Obi. Um, but I do have a, a bone to pick with a, a couple a couple a couple things before we jump into this 21st episode. The first bone I have to pick is I, I put out on uh, social media that we we're going to have our big 21st episode today. And I was looking for some suggestions on some traditions and I got nothing. So that really pisses me off because that means I went and had to do research on my own instead of somebody doing it for me. So thanks for nothing, everybody. So that's the first thing. And then the second is that we got some feedback the other day from a smart ass who thought they were funny by telling us that uh, one of our episodes, recent episodes, the chore episode sucked. And, and, and he, and he, and he said with this feedback, well, I guess they, the charm is that you suck. And, uh, but at least he said our last episode was much better. So thanks for that feedback. But so anyway, a little rough start there. Uh, no one's really help, helping us out and others are telling us we suck. So, Hey, You're right. you right. No, we, we, ex- we, we appreciate all feedback, criticism, as well as praise. But if you're going to criticize, we prefer constructive criticism like we gave to you when you were growing up to help you deal with mom and dad. That kind of criticism is much better than you suck straight. You know, you can say you suck because that's awesome. You guys fucking suck because you don't do this. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. So that's how I'm doing, Obi. But it is, as you said, it is the 21st episode. And I think we have a little bit of a interesting twist on on the number twenty one. Um, well, and and uh, do you want to get into what our little twist on the number twenty one is? Well, uh, first, now that I'm, our show is legal, I'm going to be drinking during this episode, which you know is more your shtick than mine. I mean, one glass of day wine is not a big deal, but I will be drinking. So I'll just announce that in case I slow my please later. You all know why. But no, Ed, start running with uh, with our twist. If if you if you're slurring later, that's just because you're an old, well, Fucking old, guy. obviously, <laughs> obviously old, but just old and have no tolerance, man. That's just ridiculous. But anyway, let's. So here's here's what we decided to do. We we decided to talk about 21st birthdays and the traditions that are out there around 21st birthdays, and and obviously there's a very popular one, and we're gonna get to that one. But I really wanted to delve into some other 21st birthday traditions um, because apparently uh, there's a lot of them out there. You know, I was on vacation recently and I saw people walking around. I was at Disney World and I saw people walking around with uh, celebrating 21st birthday T-shirts. So clearly going to Disney World with your mom and dad is a 21st birthday tradition. Obi, what are your thoughts on that one? I have noticed with you youngers, you youngins, you, you, whatever these, these not millennials, whatever the post millennials are, that horrible generation that my child is part of that is turning 21 now, they they are a little less drink prone um, than our generation was. So I'm not surprised that, that there's some more and they're more family oriented, I think. And so I'm not surprised that there's some of that. I, I have a, a friend whose child is 22. Uh, and for his 21st birthday, he, you know, had a cake. That's what he had. Not anything compared to what our 21st birthday was. Now, do wait, we wait, wait, compare- wait. wait, stop for a second. So for this person's 21st birthday, they had a cake. And they got stoned out of their mind. Okay. Because I'm, I, I'm I, assuming they had a cake for every other birthday of their life as well. That was my point, that it wasn't much much different. Uh, I okay. think... Got it. And I, I think that the weed is taking over in the younger kids more than more than the booze. And they're like, why am I waiting to 21? I've been doing it illegally since I was 16. 
and it's still not quite legal in every state. So I think that is weighing in on some of our traditional 21 year old birthday uh, celebrations. But I do like I'm there with my, I do like I'm in Disney with my mom because mom has been taking me to Disney every year since I was three. I mean, that, that sounds like what happened there. Yeah, well, and in some cases, again, just talk about the the wussification of this new generation. He, the the child was probably there because mommy told him he was going to go to Disney on his twenty first birthday, and he didn't man up and say that he was going to hang out with the bros at the frat house, right? I mean, that's probably what what happened there, right? Uh, maybe even worse. Maybe it was his spring break, and he said, "Mom, let's go to Disney for my twenty first birthday on my spring break because I don't have bros at the frat house to hang out with." Or any house to hang out with? I, I don't know. It could be that. So, Obi, like I said in the opening, I had to do a lot of research on this. And again, there is a there is the most popular tradition out there. And some of you probably already know where we're going to. We will go there. We will go there. But I want to explore some of the other traditions that maybe we want to get cranky about before we get into the, 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 the big one. So, so I did some research, Obi. And we're just going to okay. go through a couple of these here, right? So... You talk, you hit on it about the younger generation may not be drinking a lot. So one was a time lapse photo experiment. So when you turn 21, you're supposed to take a photo of yourself every hour on the hour. And then you, you know, kind of put them in a photo show in order and watch it back to see how you age during the day, I guess. That's out that there. Like, if people do that. I mean, I would get that for 24 because, you know, there's 24 hours. That would be kind of interesting. But 20, like, is your phone supposed to go off while you're sleeping? Uh, I, that's. <laughs> yeah, you don't sleep much, obviously, if you do that. Right. Or or you have to have a partner that, that's going right. to so half the half the pictures of you, you asleep. So here's another one. A, a twist, a twist on maybe one of the more popular ones is eating 21 cupcakes. Now, why would anybody say, oh, geez, I'm going to eat 21 cupcakes? But apparently, people do it. Well, there was that brief period about 10 years ago. It's probably where this one came out, where every 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 town in the world had a gourmet cupcake shop that had like 15 different flavor cupcakes. You can still find them somewhere around. I bet that started with that when Everybody had a gourmet cupcake shop. So 21 different cupcakes you had, you know, maybe three or four of your favorites. And maybe they were minis. And then you threw up and it I wasn't think, worth it. I think either way on that one, you're throwing up on your 21st birthday, obviously, right? 21 cupcakes, right. all that sweetness. So here's another uh, one. It's This is called the pay it forward tradition. And you put 21 beers in a bag and you go out and you hand the beers to random strangers to pay it forward on your 21st birthday. You know... Let's just say, let's do that one with 42 beers and share a beer with a random stranger every day as you go around. And that is where I'm going with that one. A 42 okay. beer right. paid forward. All right. So again, then, then we go on to, again, a lot of these are non-alcohol uh, based. Uh, a theme party where everyone dresses as famous people. I, I'm going to dial this back for a second because... If you're doing a 21st birthday party celebration and you live in America, the only value of turning 21 is that now you may legally drink. I don't understand why you have a special party for 21 if it's not around booze. Now you're gonna give me a whole bunch more of these, I'm sure. I am, I'm confused. I am. So I'm gonna say I'm fucking gonna, confused. I, I, so you talked about America. I'm going to tell you one I think they do in the UK, which is listen to Adele's 20. Adele has an album called 21, and you're supposed to listen to that on repeat. But I think that's only in the UK, but we'll skip that one. So then there's the, the throwback, the throwback 21st birthday, which is where you have a repeat of your favorite childhood party. So let's say the best party you ever had was when you turned nine and it was a bowling party. That's what you do oh. on your 21st birthday. Do you know how many disappointed one-year-olds there are when they go back to Chuck E. Cheese and realize how shitty it is? <laughs> <laughs> and they don't serve booze at, uh, no. at Chuck E. Cheese either, right? So there's a throwback. Then, then what do you think about this one, Obi? And and this, it, you probably didn't think of this one, but it probably might be right up your alley. But what about reenacting the 16 candle scene, uh, but with 21 candles instead? 
I have a horrible admission. I you have did never that. seen 16 Candles. I've never you... seen 16 Candles. So I couldn't even tell you what the scene is. I've really? Never seen 16... Yeah, I've never seen 16 Candles. I mean, I know uh-huh. who's in it. I've seen pretty much every other Brat Pat movie, not 16 Candles. Well, Obi, I got it. I got to be honest with you. If you were going to not see a movie from that generation, that movie, while iconic for a generation, probably not a bad one to miss. Um, but this is not a movie episode, so we'll move on. Um, so then there's the let your friends slash family plan a surprise for you. So that's called the hands off approach. And then uh, and then the last one I'll give you is go somewhere you have never been before. So those are some traditions that are for obviously this newer generation. That as you touched on, booze is not a thing for them. Again, it's almost all of those ones that you just gave, other than the 21 beer pay it forward one, do for your 20th birthday. Because then that makes sense. That's like you're out of your teens, you're no longer, you know, you're no longer a teenager. Do something for your 20th birthday. You probably can't go get booze legally anyway. And that's what being 20 is. But being 21 in America, where I have always been, the one thing that's special is you're allowed to drink booze. Now, again, I mentioned earlier, in some states, now you're allowed to smoke weed legally. Um, so maybe buy 21 pounds or ounces or whatever you can of weed, but pay that. For, I, I just don't get having 21 birthday traditions that are not around booze. Not because I'm all, go drink, go drink, go drink, but that's the value of the number. All right, so you're still teasing it. So before we get to it, I just want to give you a couple. I just want to give you a couple more traditions from I'm across a the, from a, from across the globe. So in Holland, Holland, it's your royal birthday when you turn twenty one. They call it your crown birthday, and you get treated okay. like royalty. Okay, so that could involve some booze, but that's Holland, and that's how that's great. Different country, different things. I like that. And if you wanted to say that's why you weren't drinking booze and that's the one you wanted, cool, got it. Philippines, extravagant parties might involve booze, but it's a rite of passage. So when you turn 21 as a man, 18 as a woman, though, in Philippines, you get an extravagant party when you enter adulthood, right? Um, Australia. Here's a really interesting, Obi, that would not fly in America. um, But in Australia, you as a rite of passage in in signifying that you get to become an adult and, and kind of go your own way. You get a key to the family residence as a symbolic way of saying you can come and go now as you please. You imagine not having a key to get into your house until you're 21. Why is this screen always ripped off the window? Yeah, yeah. So in Australia, you don't get a key to your house that you live in until you're 21, which is about the same time your parents are trying to move away and not telling you where they moved to. They give you the key and they move out. Maybe, 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 and then grandma's house. And then in you in the UK, it's also a a big birthday, twenty one, because traditionally, back in the olden days, apparently, uh, that's when you became a knight. If you were a man, you became a knight at twenty one. So twenty one is a big birthday in the UK. Um, But I just wanted to share a little bit about uh, you know twenty first birthdays around the world. So let's talk about America. So you teased it a lot. So. The pop most popular, and this probably doesn't come as a surprise, but the most popular and crazy enough, most dangerous <laughs> 21st birthday tradition is the idea of having 21 drinks. I'm gonna get 21 drinks over the course of the evening on your 21 first 21st birthday. But some people have uh purely changed the game to 21 shots in that evening so that is that is the tradition and we're going to talk about that in a second but interestingly enough there was a study done by virginia tech university and they found that 72 percent of men did not believe that drinking to excess on your 21st birthday was a rite of passage so three quarters of men say yeah i don't have to drink to excess when i turn 21 as a rite of passage however that same study found that one third of men blacked out on their 21st birthday. See, that 
that is interesting because now as a full grown intelligent adult, when my son turns 21, I hope he does not drink 21 drinks on his birthday. It's not something he needs to do. <laughs> so if you're going, if you're, if you're surveying all the men, they're like, a lot of them are looking back going, no, that's a dumb idea. I did that. That was stupid. Probably because they blacked out. And that is why they're like, I blocked out. You shouldn't do that. Learn from my mistakes. That's that's what that survey sounds like. It, it, it could be. So so let's get to the punchline of of the of of the podcast tonight. Twenty one shots on your birthday, Obi. Yeah. Did you do it or did you not do it? I believe I accomplished it. I set out to accomplish it. Uh, I believe you were there, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't think I blacked out, but I do know I was ill at the end of the night. And I, I'm pretty sure you had a very similar experience. So I also uh, accomplished the, the rite of passage. I was able to to survive and tell the tale. Uh, and I believe I remembered the next day as well. And uh, I also know that my brother, uh, I made... <laughs> See, here's that rite of passage. Sometimes... You do it, you know, because you want to. And then some other times you do it because you're forced to do it. And, you know, my brother also accomplished the task because his older brother took him out and told him, this is what you do on your 21st birthday. And he says, OK. So now I have a cousin who is probably 10 years younger than. Uh, yeah, 10 years younger than me, if, if not more. But about 10. And when she turned 21, um, I went out to her 21st birthday. Now, she had a little book. She was writing down her 21 drinks in her book. That was cute. But back to your Disney story, her mother was with her, encouraging this behavior. Now, it's one thing for a big brother, who's an idiot, like you and I are, to encourage <laughs> their dumber little brother to do something stupid that we survived. It's another thing for it to be your mother. Uh, that, 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 I look back on that going, that was weird. That was really weird. Do you think it was one of those cases where it was inevitable that it was going to happen? So the mom thought she could actually protect her daughter by being there? No. I, 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 no. <laughs> so, it's just, so, it's, so it's just strange weird that the mom was there. The mom was actually I, I the one I, bullying her. <laughs> I, pro, I feel like the mom was more likely to be... Uh, involved in bullying uh, than than anything else. As as I still am friends with them, you know, they're still my cousins. I still know the family, et cetera, et cetera. My guess would be not maybe not bullying and probably caretaking, but I don't think it was because it was inevitable. I I, I don't know if it would have been inevitable if her mother hadn't been there. So, um, yes, she still hates me because I made her do a shot of gin instead of giving her something sweet and interesting. I was like. Just take a shot of beef either. So, so, so before we get into that, because I got a couple stories on that, I will have to, I do have to talk about my parents because I have to, I think I have to talk about my parents every podcast episode. Um, because or else they your mother will not follow us anymore. And then we're, yeah. Well, and I think one of my mom's yeah. greatest things is to listen to us at the gym on Monday morning and then call me up and tell me what I, I lied about. So, um, but before this is no lie. That, I just want to, I want to thank your mother for listening because I'm not getting any feedback from either of my parents. So thank you to your parents for doing their due and keeping that podcast download numbers up high. My parents have some work to do to catch up. Well, my dad does not listen to the podcast because he can't figure out how to. But anyway, so <laughs> so I told both my parents, like, my birthday is in September. And I told both my, you know, so I was home for the summer and I was going back to school. And I'm like, I'm doing 21 shots when I get back to school. And my my mom was like, you better not. And my dad's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, no way, that's the coolest thing. Like, like if you, like not everyone can do it. Like if you can do it, that makes you a real man. You know, that's how, how I looked at it. Right. And uh, I just I just know, like my mom would never been a part of that because she thought I was the biggest idiot. Uh, for for even trying it, um, and she was not too happy that I took my brother out either. Um, and actually, she may be finding out for the first time that actually my brother did twenty one shots as well. I mean, we may have kept that from her. I'm not really sure. I'll find out uh, Monday after she gets done working out. Yes, yes. So let's for, get back to those shots. For the comments. <laughs> yeah, so let's get back to those shots. So so let's think. Of, let's talk about this a little bit, right? 
So there are there. Oh, by the way, in the research I did, 95% of women do not even try to do 21 shots, right? So 90, yeah. so this is a, a stupid guy thing, right? This is most Absolutely. women are much more mature, right? Women are mature much faster. And by the time they're 21, they know that it's a dumb thing. But so there's some guys that it's about, you know, actually just doing the shot, the drinks, maybe it's drinks, maybe it's shots, but, you know, to enjoy it and taste them and, you know, savor it. But Obi, we, we always went out with fraternity brothers and the, the, the object was not for anybody to enjoy anything. They, they no. bought the weirdest things. Like, so if you're listening, have you ever heard of a prior f- prairie fire, right? Tequila with Tabasco sauce, right? There's nothing good about that drink, right? Or the cement mixer that, uh, Obi, Obi, do you know what, do you know what was in it? But I just know it was, there was like lime juice and something else. And it was two different cups and you were supposed to put them both in your mouth. And it was like you were making ah. epoxy in your mouth, right? You had to swish it yeah. around and it like solidified in your mouth. And it, it had to be like milk. It was probably a Russian with lime juice because how else, what else can you get to curdle? Like what curdles in tea? It's lime juice and milk. So it must be just like. Cur- I mean, it's curdled milk is what it is. It's disgusting. And yeah, everybody does it only once on their birthday. Yeah, because somebody else is buying it for them and they're laughing. <laughs> and uh, it, so I think we had, I think we made a rule though, that you had to, if you were going to buy a shot for somebody on their 21st birthday, you had to do the same shot because otherwise it would have been 21 prairie fires or 21 cement mixers. So the only way that, you know, this was in our mind of trying to keep things fair if you bought a shot for somebody, you had to buy the same shot for yourself and, and also complete it. So cement mixer, prairie fire. Obi, what was the worst thing that you ever had? I was thinking the cement mixer before you, you know, described what we were gonna what you were talking about. I I, I think that was the worst. Uh, I'm pretty sure sh- I do remember having like some cognizance of sober till somebody got me a mind eraser, but that was a drink I had quite often. <laughs> uh after that but the mind eraser was the one i remember on my 20 but it wasn't bad i loved them uh but i think this event mixer is the worst thing i've had i worse than the prairie fire because like you said somebody else has to buy that for you so they're already usually a little buzzed when they decide to get it and if it's your birthday you're well beyond buzz so you're like hey whatever just tequila and hot sauce i'm good yeah but the 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 cement mixer when it solidifies in your mouth that just takes it to another level you're yes, not really yeah, expecting that. No, no, there's nothing you can do about that. That's that's just disgusting mouth feel sober or other worse when you're drunk because you're like, did that just come from down or is that from up? What, what is <laughs> that? What is going on in that? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we I, I I I'd like to hear other people's stories on this. So definitely connect with us on social media. But Obi, before we finish, uh, I got I got a couple. I got a I got a. You know, you like to throw out topics to me. I got a yay or nay for you. So. I want to go through, uh, I got a couple things here on 21st birthday, not traditions, but ideas. And I just want to get a yay or nay. So we'll go through these quickly. And I want you, if you agree and think it's a good idea, say yay. And if you think it's a bad idea, say nay. And, uh, and, and maybe you can expand upon it if it's like a real, if it's a real visceral nay, go for it. So I'm just going to really quick here. You ready? A beer yeah. pong cake, beer pong cake, 21st birthday. I, so it's cupcakes. Quite... It's cupcakes with the beer pong cup uh, on top of them. Oh yay! Yay! That's, that's cool. All right. All right. What about creating your own phone booth? I have a photo booth. I'm sorry, photo booth. Nay. Nay. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, How about a Jello shot tower? Twenty-one Jello shots. Yay! Go for it. Lean, lean All right. Tower pizza. How about a 21, 21st birthday sash to wear? Nay. Nope. I'm, I'm, I haven't worn a sash since Boy Scouts. Thank you very much. <laughs> How about a special 21st birthday photo frame so you can remember the evening? I'm good. I'm good. I got my phone. Oh, so that's a nay or a yay? Come that's on, we'll nay. play the game. No, no it's a nay. Oh, nay. Nay. All right. Don't right. we'll just say that's I'm good. That's That was not part of the instructions. All right. How about an alcohol bouquet? You know, like a metal bin with a bunch of alcohol wrapped, shrink wrap to be a bouquet. Yay. 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 All right. How about a bedazzled beer bong? I'm going to yay it on that. Beer, all right. I think I'm, yeah, sure. Let's have some fun. It's our 21st birthday. Let's, let's so you're all, about a bedaz- you're all about the bedazzle. All right, good. Okay, how about yeah. an oh shit kit? So an oh shit kit is a, basically a kit 
of hangover remedies. Yay! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How about a 21st birthday tiara? Hey, hey. How about attending? Yeah. How about attending a bartending class on your birthday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could probably get like five of your drinks in right there. All right, night at the casino on your birthday. Nay. Hey. Really? Okay. I th- see. I think that would actually be a good one. How about a trip with friends? Okay. Uh, you said um, this isn't a visceral day, but to me. When I go to the casino, I play poker. I play poker alone, and I play poker sober uh, because I – look, I'm not in the world series of poker, but I do usually win at the poker table at the casino. Sobriety is the key there. That's a waste of a birthday. Got it. Got it. So you're antisocial, and therefore it's not a place to go on your birthday. Got it. How yes. about uh, how about how about the, Obi, since you're antisocial, this might be up your alley. What about a spa day? For 21? Day. Yeah. Nay, all right. No, nay, and then a, nay, nay. For right. 50? Yay. For 21? Nay. All right. That was my yay or nay for Obi. Good job. All right. So, let's see. I, I'm going to – I had a great thing to add for you, the surprise question for Ed. It was very timely and topical, but I think it will still be timely and topical next week. And we were at 25 minutes. So, I'm going to let this, this rest uh, – Anything else you want to bring up before I do our goodbyes? No, B, I just I just hope that this uh, trip down memory lane really helped some people remember their 21st birthday if they had forgotten it. Uh, and if you're listening to this and you're underage, first of all, we do not condone the 21 shots. We we I think we've openly said we're idiots for doing it. Um, and I would not have my kids do it. So this is in no way an endorsement for that. But if you are 21 at this point and you didn't do it, I think you're a wuss. <laughs> I'm going to go slightly different. If you if you haven't done it, don't do it. If you didn't do it, don't be embarrassed. If you did, uh, welcome to the Stupid Club. There will be plenty of more stupid things for you to do in, in the future. Uh, I'm glad you're still here to talk about it like Ed and I are. Um, but, you know, hey, go get a bedazzled beer bong instead. <laughs> for drinking from the garden hose, I'm Obi. That said, the charm is that we suck.